I'm just telling everyone knows, Sanjay, this is a few moments ago, the other side of the helicopter. Everyone, you saw it land. The, the cameras were on the other side. This is him getting off as he walks up those stairs. So, Sanjay, keep going. This is where he has the mask on, right, as he goes to the... To, passes the press, doesn't take questions, and is going to head up those stairs. Right. So he heads up the stairs, and then when he gets to the top of the stairs is when he takes his mask off. And, you know, if he's going to go inside the residence, I mean, maybe that's where he's going to isolate. I, I, I don't know. But at that point, Caitlin was raising this issue. At that point, if anybody comes in contact with him, they need to be in personal protective equipment. I mean, if he was in the hospital still, whenever the doctors went, went to go see him, they'd be in personal protective equipment. So, you know, you, you're getting a very different picture here by seeing the president like this. Doctors look at this and they say, well, what's going on inside of him? What's, what's the illness all about? And we know he has an infection with this coronavirus. We know that that infection, that, that coronavirus can be very contagious, which is why people, you know, take great pains to protect themselves uh, in the hospital. But this is well, obviously here sending a, here a, a very different... Takes it off. ...an incorrect message. And you see him here. Um, he takes it off and he's getting ready for his pictures. The flags flank him. Right, Caitlin, this is what he did. This is the moment. This is what he produced it for. He wants the image to be, I'm strong, this virus is nothing, his tweet today, feeling better than I did 20 years ago, don't be afraid of COVID, don't let it dominate your life. There he is. This is the image he wants. Yeah, and let us remind viewers now that the president is on steroids and a drug that Fewer than 10 people outside of clinical trials have gotten inside the United States to deal with coronavirus. He had a level of treatment and a level of care that most Americans would not get. That's understandable. He is the president of the United States. Obviously, everyone expects that. But what the president is portraying by taking his mask off when he gets back to the Truman balcony to give this this grand return to the White House is that everything is fine and, as he said, don't let coronavirus control your life. But that is very much still a president who has coronavirus. Despite the lights and the flags and the staged entrance that the president wants to create, he still has coronavirus and he is only a few days into the diagnosis. And Aaron, today his doctor didn't reveal a lot of information as he hasn't for the past two days, but he did yeah. still say that he won't breathe a sigh of relief until Monday. That's a full week from today and a full week from today Sanjay during which he's going to be in the White House okay and there are going to be people around him who are right he's going to he's going to eat he's going to that's the way the whole thing is he wants this image and then by the way when you said where where is he going from here he's this is obviously still what happened a couple moments ago he then goes back into the residence Sanjay and I couldn't mm -hmm. see exactly where he went but he has no mask right he's breathing walking around leaves or doesn't leave and there's a whole bunch of people standing there in the space that he just left. I, this is, this is, I mean, you know, everybody should know by now, you know, he is, he is likely expelling virus into the air. Outside, you could argue, a lot better than inside, although there were some people close to him even outside. But now inside, and, I, you know, it's hard for me to tell from these images, but there, it looks like there's several people around him. I, I, I just I just don't get it. I, I you know this is this breaks every protocol and there's no there's no sort of equivocation here. People know that he has the virus. They know that he could be spreading the virus to other people. I mean that that's a huge concern. And Caitlin raised the point about the medications again. Mm -hmm. um, the thing about it is, you say, well, he looks really good. Well, and, and everyone should be glad that he looks good. But you know, people do worry with these types of medications, especially the steroids that it's a false sense of security. It makes, it gives people this sort of burst of energy. It makes them feel uh, better, but it may be just masking the problem for a right. period of time. The virus is still there. The virus may even replicate more easily because the steroids sort of suppress the immune system. Right. So this is a, this is a, you know, significant concern. Again, the doctors at Walter Reed, they know this. I'm not telling them that anything they don't know. Every right. doctor knows this. But, but why this has transpired the way that it has is, is, is reckless at this point, uh, Aaron. And, and, and again, to your point, right, it, could ma it masks the underlying symptoms. It doesn't treat the actual virus. And as you point out in the study that, 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 that was out in the New England Journal of Medicine, right, it has not been proven any benefit and perhaps the risk of negative impacts on someone who is not um, on oxygen, right, or, or intubated. So there is a risk, right, that the, what he perceives from this is not the reality that, that, that it may be. Um, 
let me bring in here uh, Dr. Jonathan Reiner, add him to our conversation, director of the cardiac cath lab at uh, George Washington University Hospital. And of course, in the context of what we're looking at this very moment, Dr. Reiner, you advise the White House medical team under President George W. Bush, talking to the public about Dick Cheney uh, and his heart issues um, as, as, as we went through that. Uh, also with me, uh, Dr. Jeremy Faust, emergency physician at Brigham and Women's Hospital. He has been treating and is treating now coronavirus patients, and Abby Phillip, our political correspondent. So let me start with you, Dr. Reiner. What, what we're seeing here really looks like it's like something out of North Korea. The dear leader comes out, right, with the, with, with the, the, the magnificent helicopter entrance and, and up the stairs and, and off goes the mask as he pauses, you know, and preens for the for the shots. Yeah, I was half expecting him to, to uh, hold up a Bible at the end of that shot. Um, it's unexplainable that the president of the United States, who's actively shedding virus in in millions of particles, would walk into that building, which with the enormous number of staff unmasked, shedding virus in the air in that building. It's, it's really hard, hard to understand how no one told him not to do that. And I think this is the problem that I've seen over the last several days. There doesn't seem to be anyone in charge of his care other than the President of the United States, other than the patient. I'm wondering how much of his therapy was dictated by the patient, how much of his hospitalization, the need for hospitalization, mm. and, the, and the time of discharge was dictated by the patient. No one's in charge there but him. And, 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 and I want to just, I'll add to that, because I think it's a, just a, a fair, objective point to make. No one needed to tell him to keep his mask on. <laughs> he has coronavirus. Right. He's shedding it, right? He, this is, it's absurd to think that the excuse would right. be, oh, I didn't know. I mean, that, that's false. Dr. Faust, when you, I, I want to show we have another angle here, because when he went up um, there and, and took his mask off, obviously all cameras were on. So I want to show a, another angle that we have of how close he was to the White House photographer. We'll show it in just a moment. When he gets up to the top of the stairs and he takes off his mask and he's sitting there for the cameras, um, a, a White House photographer rushes up the other side of the stairs to get a close shot from another angle. So, uh, Dr. Faust, when, when we get to that point, because it's a moment away, I'm going to give you a chance to react to it. But when you hear, I'm feeling better uh, than I did 20 years ago, don't be afraid of COVID, I feel so fantastic uh, with the guy on dexamethasone, what do you hear? Well, I hear a contradiction to what he said last night, which is he said that he finally, after 200,000 deaths or more, that he gets it. But what strikes me today is that he goes home either contagious today or contagious during the debate with Vice President Biden. It's difficult to construct a timeline in which he's contagious at neither of those, at, at not one or the other. So he's, he's probably putting the, uh, he, we know he's putting people at tremendous risk from the viewpoint of coronavirus, which doesn't have any sentience. But think about it. Started halfway around the world and today got a ride in the Marine One from via its host, the president of the United States. It's unbelievably weak, but the coronavirus has really proven resilience. And the president is now going to spread it possibly to other people, including people in these images that we're seeing. The message that he that he said, don't worry about it. Don't let it control your life. This is a tremendous problem. When he was when he first was infected, we had two bad outcomes. Either he had a bad outcome and yet another life was lost, or people looked at him and said, oh, look, it's okay. This thing isn't so bad after all. There are no wins here. We are living a nightmare, and coronavirus is now in the White House. And, and Sanjay, um, you know, as he's, you know, you can even see here, right, just he's, he's adjusting his suit, right, to get every picture. There's the shadow, I think. There you go. Okay. So, Sanjay, take a look at this. Um, that's the close-up so, so shot. This, yeah. This, mm -hmm. yeah, this photographer who, who is t who's wearing the mask, uh, which, again, I, I think most people on your program, watching your program, know this. The photographer is protecting the president from him, from the photographer, but the president is the one who has the coronavirus, uh, and he's symptomatic, and, and, you know, he has a, we know he has the coronavirus. People should be wearing masks regardless to, because everyone has to behave like they have the disease. But he is a symptomatic carrier of a, of a potentially deadly disease that is very contagious. So this is, this is just reckless to, to put people in this sort of situation. And, and again, we see him walk in in, in in a few minutes into the residence. There's other people around. I, I, I really don't get this at all. This is, I mean, there, there is uh, stuff that is just, um, you know, 
pretty reckless, but at some point it's just, it's becoming absurd. So yeah. a, a person with known contagious deadly disease without a mask on is walking into the residence, other people are around him, maybe they're wearing masks to protect him, but he already has the disease. The entire area will need to be disinfected, uh, decontaminated. I don't know if that's where he's isolating, you know, I, 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 right. I just, I, as, as Dr. Reiner said, they still continue to minimize this disease.